Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry. Today we're going to make a roast beef in the Traeger. And today's going to be a kind of a slow cooking. Uh, one of the things I did a little different is I went ahead and did my first seasoning before we turned on the camera. So basically I seasoned it by putting uh, a rub on, a little bit of garlic, uh, a little bit of pepper and salt, and wrapped it in cellophane and it sat in the refrigerator overnight. The other thing we're doing different in this show is we're going to do an uh, injection. So I have a, a recipe for injection using uh, beef broth and some other ingredients. I'll put them in the lower half of the uh, show here in the description. And today we're going to slow cook a roast beef. Okay, so this is the beef roast we picked up yesterday. It's been soaking uh, overnight in the refrigerator. I put some rub on it. I put a little bit of uh, salt on it and a little bit of garlic. And I put holes in it and inserted garlic pieces into it. So I got fresh garlic in there too. So the next thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna inject it. So the recipe for what we made for the injection I'll tell you about. So today's sauce has beef broth in it and it has Worcestershire sauce. I can't, can't say it right. Um, we put a little thyme in it, a little bit of rosemary, a little bit of garlic, and what else did we put in there? Um, a little bit of onion salt uh, and a little black pepper. So that's going to be what we inject into the roast beef. I'm going to put it through a strainer first and then I'll show you what I'm using for injector. So today we're going to use the new Beast Injector, which I'll put a link at the bottom of this video where you can get it at Amazon. So here's what it looks like. I'm basically going to use my smaller injector. It comes with three needles. This one here has just two holes on the side so when I go in it'll just squirt it. So the secret to this is when you put it in is you actually inject as you're pulling out of the meat. So that's the process that I was taught and if you just put it in and squirt it'll actually just start shooting out the same hole that you just put it in. So here we go. First thing we do is put some of this in my injector and insert it into the meat and inject as we're pulling it out. And it does squirt anyway. That's okay though. And you don't have to go too crazy. I can see that right now. It's kind of full. I've never done this before. Ah, let's see if I can get some of this broth on the camera. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I am going to turn this over and do it on the other side too because this is a good hunk of beef here. So of course as soon as you get started with a Traeger you need to fire it up and get into smoke mode which takes about five minutes. That's when I uh, clean off my grill here, scrape it off a little bit my scraper over here and then I also put a light coat of uh, cooking oil on the grill to keep it from sticking because we're not going to use a pan this time. So this is a uh, roast ready to go. What we're going to do is preheat the Traeger up to 225. And it could take two and a half to three and a half hours to cook so it's going to be a slow process. I am going to use an electronic thermometer I'm going to try to get the temperature from 135 to 140 to get a medium rare. And so the reason I want it kind of rare is we can't eat this whole thing. So I'm sure that we'll be eating it for the next couple of days. So we'll probably keep reheating it and putting it in the microwave. And if it's overcooked, then it really gets overcooked. So we like to get it a little bit rare. So this is the first time I've actually done it, a roast by temperature. Uh, cooking but we're gonna go for 135 to 140 and uh, I'll show you how we do that. 
Okay guys, my Traeger's up to temperature. I got it outside, ready to go. What I'm going to do first before I put it in is install my th thermometer. This is electronic, so I can actually monitor the temperature of the meat from the inside of the house. So I'm going to put that in right now. So once again, I'm not going to leave this in a pan. I'm going to let it cook freely. So it's going to take about two hours, three hours. We'll monitor the temperature uh, with the electronic th thermostat and we'll see what happens. So I thought I'd show you really quick. This is my receiving monitor. So right now it's showing me the temperature in the uh, roast beef is about 43 degrees. We got a long ways to go, so we can monitor it from the house. Um, by the way, I was going to show, I'll put a link to this particular thermometer. Uh, it's wireless, it's really nice, so I'll put it in the link below so you can check it out. Well, it's been about three hours and we finally hit 135, you can see right here. So we're going to open this up for the first time. One of the things they tell you with a trigger is keep the surprise, don't peek. Give it time to cook. Don't let it cool down. Anyway, we're going to see this for the first time. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. They say just to let it rest. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do and then we'll cut it up. Looks really good. Juices are coming out the sides. I'm really curious to see how well it tastes. Okay, we're ready to cut this baby up. A couple of pieces right here. Good stuff, people. Super flavorful. Cooked the way we liked it. And no complaints. It's a great recipe, so check it out. Hey everyone, thank you for watching our cooking videos. I hope you can get a Traeger in the future, and if you have one, please feel free to send us some of your recipes. Please take the time to subscribe and check some of our prior videos. Thanks for watching. Bye now.